Hi, I'm Nancy Sanders from Gurney, Illinois. That's about 45 minutes north of Chicago. And today I'd like to present to you my family's favorite sandwich. We call it the Sanders Super Supreme Pizza Sandwich. The reason why I developed this sandwich is because Friday night pizza has become a tradition in our family ever since my husband and I were married. But as you know, sometimes it's costly to go out for pizza. Um, and in addition, Supreme pizzas are very costly because they charge you for each additional ingredient. And so I developed this sandwich to uh, have occasionally on Friday nights as a very special even family evening. These are the ingredients that you need to have to make my sandwich. First you start out with ham and then sliced pepperoni, mozzarella or provolone cheese, and then we like to add to the ingredients of sliced onions, mushrooms, green peppers, tomatoes, and uh, bell peppers. And we also have to use a little bit of uh, oil in, in the process, as well as some um, Italian seasoning and garlic salt. And then finally at the end, we use a little spaghetti sauce that we dip the sandwiches in. Now let me show you how I put the sandwich together. First, what I do is I take my um, olive oil and I spray both outsides of the uh, sourdough bread. Then what I do is I sprinkle a little bit of the uh, garlic salt on either side of the bread. And then I open my sandwich up and start building it. First, I put a couple layers of ham and then several slices of pepperoni. And then, of course, I add my cheese. And then finally, my ingredients that uh, we enjoy on our sandwiches, a little bit of onions. I slice these very thin because you don't want your sandwich to be too lumpy. So very sliced thin are, are my pepperoni, or my uh, mushrooms, and green peppers, onions, tomatoes. And then, of course, I uh, actually get the belt, or the, uh, the banana peppers out of a jar. See, doesn't that look yummy? And then to top it off, I take a little Italian seasoning and a uh, little Italian spices and I sprinkle that on. And then I put my sandwich top back on. And then into the panini maker, I put it until the uh, cheese is melted and the crust is golden brown. Takes two to three minutes, actually not very long. While that's uh, cooking, then what I do is I warm up a little bit of uh, pizza or spaghetti sauce, and if you might, you spice it up a little bit, add a little bit of the garlic salt, as well as the Italian spices. And then in just a few minutes, I'll show you the outcome. Now let's check my sandwich and see how it's doing. Perfect. Nice and golden brown. The cheese seems nice and melted. And then typically what I do is cut it in half. So it's kind of difficult. You want to use a serrated knife so you don't smash it as you cut it. Like that. And now it's ready to eat. And finally, how we eat our sandwich uh, that gives it the pizza flavor is we uh, spoon on a little bit of our uh, pizza or, or spaghetti sauce and put it on like that. And then you take a nice big bite. Mmm. Now that's a good sandwich. <laughs>